Weird Facts About Turkey Turkey is a nation that never ceases to enchant with its long and rich history, which has seen empires and dynasties as well as diverse races and religions leave their imprint. There's a lot you don't know about this region, whether it's an ancient site that defies historical truths or the world's second oldest railway. Let's dive deep and see some weird things happening in this country. Before the housekeeper arrives, clean the house. Because Turks believe that receiving visitors in a filthy house is something to be embarrassed by and is rude. So even if Turks hire a maid to clean their home, they clean it just partially before the cleaner arrives. Oil wrestling is Turkey's national sport. Oil wrestling, often described as grease wrestling, is one of Turkey's oldest sports. When wrestling with oil, the warriors first douse themselves in the substance before confronting their opponent. Turks, typically women, throw big parties to commemorate their baby's first tooth, known as dispartitsi, or tooth party. They decorate their houses accordingly and offer modest gifts to people who want to celebrate this event with them. The present is generally a magnet in the shape of a tooth with the baby's photo. Thus, you can see hundreds of these tooth magnets on the fridges in some households. Every Turk feels compelled to pay the bill after finishing their meals. They begin to fight to pay the debt. They are extremely devoted to one another. It can sometimes result in major issues. A Turkish girl may shatter a stone jug before she may marry. This suggests she will be extremely fortunate and everything good will come her way. Turkish folks are gregarious and inquisitive about everything. They won't let you leave until they know your family tree and what your mother and father do for a livelihood, how much they make, how old you are, and why you traveled to X location or why you came from Y place, whether you're a foreigner or a local. It's like being interrogated without end until people are satisfied. And there's no such thing as privacy. When Turks attend a concert, movie, or a theater, they count the seats and calculate how much money the organizers make. Their national sport is watching the construction machinery. If there is a building or excavation nearby, especially as guys, they might find themselves observing them for the past 30 minutes. The bizarre concept in Turkey is that eating ice cream makes you sick. Turks believe that walking over a toddler or newborn stops them from growing. When they shake hands, they headbutt each other. It's a frequent thing in classic Turkish fascist conduct. However, it appears as though two deer are clashing their horns. This was a pretty enjoyable habit for me. When a loved one goes on a trip or leaves on a journey in Turkey, you traditionally pour a glass of water in front of a mirror for them. You may also place the cup of water on the roadway as soon as they drive away. This lovely custom indicates that you hope their travel to be as easy as water and that they return quickly and in good health. Did you guys know that in Turkey, guests are routinely given cologne water? The major goal of this 19th century practice was to keep their hands refreshed. It was obviously utilized as a sanitizing measure as well. This practice had fallen out of favor in recent decades, but with the pandemic, it was revived. Turkish people are known for being sensitive. They embrace and kiss their cheeks multiple times when meeting someone. This is most likely due to their warm-blooded personality. Other cultures, obviously, may misunderstand this. Because of the pandemic, it's better to avoid this one for the time being. The spoon is placed on the glass cup by the Turks. It means I'm not going to drink any more tea. When Turks are in a cafe or on a visit, they do it. Nothing is more aggravating than waiting in line and having someone cut ahead of you before you're served. Turks have no concept of personal space. Turks cluster together instead of creating an orderly line and have no idea how to do so. For example, instead of waiting in line to board the bus, they will manage to squeeze through the door at the same time. 
All through history, man has created many different types of talismans to fend off bad luck or ghosts, regardless of where you reside. In Europe, for example, a rabbit's foot is prevalent. Nazar Banku, blue eye to protect against evil spirits, is hung at the entrance of a home or entryway, as well as in the automobile hanging from the rear view mirror all across Turkey. Almost every Turkish person I know carries one or has one on display in their house. When visiting a Turkish home, you will be required to remove your shoes before entering. As a result, you may notice a line of shoes in front of someone's door when passing by. You will be provided with a pair of slippers as you enter the house, or you may bring your own. Make sure you're wearing clean, hole-free socks, or you'll be ashamed. In Turkey, there is a city known as Batman. It is not named after the Batman novel, it's purely coincidental. By glancing into an empty coffee shop, you can know your fortune. No one believes it, although it's quite prevalent in Turkey. It's like a game for adults. Turn your cup inverted and let it cool after you've finished your turkey coffee with a pal. You may also add a coin to the top to speed up the cooling process. Then you try to read each other's coffee marks in the cup and interpret them. You'll be each other's fortune tellers. For example, if a bird form appears amid several others, the coffee taker will be sent on an incredible journey or holiday. It is believed that you should spit on a knife or scissors before giving it to your wife, friend, sister, father, etc. Otherwise, you're going to have a major conflict with that individual soon. Lace may be used to embellish anything in Turkey. In Turkey, smashing faulty electric items to fix them is not uncommon. Weird Facts About the USA the United States of America is a huge country with a lot to see and do. The entire country has plenty to see, from the beaches of Florida to iconic cities like New York and San Francisco. What's more fascinating is the vast mix of cultures, beautiful natural sceneries, and fascinating facts that have shaped the United States into what it is today. In this video, we'll talk about some weird facts about the USA that you never knew before. Moose Dropping Fundraisers An organization has a lot of moose dung, each with a number inscribed on it to raise money. People purchase moose dung, and someone records who purchased which number. All of the purchased feces is collected and thrown over a target by helicopter. The award goes to the person who purchased the piece that is closest to the bullseye. Alaska is capable of growing abnormally enormous food due to its long summer days. 35-pound broccoli, a 65-pound melon, and a 138-pound cabbage are among the outstanding specimens produced in recent years. Everyone receives a $1,200 payout once a year. It fluctuates from year to year because the oil belongs to Alaskans they are entitled to a portion of the earnings. Many communities with populations ranging from 100 to 10,000 people have no access to roadways. You must fly to get in and out. Many do not have an airport, merely a landing strip that may accommodate a light plane with up to 10 people. People occasionally utilize dog sleds or snowmobiles. A boat passes through once a summer to bring heavier stuff. When traveling at night, you may see a line of automobiles parked alongside the roadside so that people may get out and enjoy the northern lights. How are you doing greetings? Many first-time visitors are taken aback when they see this. Americans greet one another by asking a straightforward question such as, how are you doing, or a version of it, and do not demand a long response. Walking while eating and drinking. Walking about with a mouthful of food in your hand and chewing it is considered rude, or at the very least, strange in several countries. The only way to eat properly is to sit at a table. Grabbing a snack on the move has become a convenient way to save time in America's rush, rush, workaholic, get ahead society. However, many other countries find it unusual. Food servings are huge. Do you want a burger the size of your head? 
The Clinton Station Diner in New Jersey serves Mount Olympus. Do you want to consume a whole red snapper in just one sitting? The Tonga Room in San Francisco will take care of everything. Do you want a pancake the size of a pizza? Where else but Texas could you get one? It's not uncommon for an American supper to include the whole daily calorie intake of a typical human being. That's also why Americans can get to-go boxes and doggy bags since they couldn't possibly consume all of that sweet, salty, greasy stuff in just one sitting. It is never acceptable in many cultures to bypass the pleasantries and niceties and get directly to a conversation topic. It's also courteous to immediately call out a mistake or a flaw. Americans miss the memo. Many Americans will aggressively enter a discussion, a circumstance, or a transaction, burst the ice, break the standstill, cut the Gordian knot, and go directly to the core of the problem. Polar Bears Yes, polar bears may be seen in Alaska, but you must go far north to observe them. Polar bears are only found along Alaska's far northern coasts and the northwestern side down to Nome, according to maps released by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. Unless you stop at the zoo, which has polar bears on the grounds and advertises about them on a daily basis, you won't see any while on a cruise to Alaska or on a frequent visit to Anchorage. No tax on price tags. There's also a valid explanation for it. To begin with, there's no VAT in the United States. Second, sales taxes differ significantly between states, counties, and even cities. Some states have no sales tax at all. Calculating and including local sales tax on price tags in each of their stores would be ridiculously difficult and expensive for national corporations. So they just remove the tax. Pumpkins everywhere. You'll see them in stores once autumn arrives and Halloween as well as Thanksgiving are approaching. Pumpkin spice beverages will be available at Starbucks and grocery shops will be stocked with pumpkin spice pancake mix, pumpkin spice pastries, and pumpkin spice, well, everything. Even pumpkin spice Cheerios come to mind. This appears to be a uniquely American trend. Nobody else in the world holds the orange squash in as high regard as Americans do. America is vast, and because the federal government lacks the capacity that governments in other nations possess, they lack a truly nationalized public transit system. Trains are both costly and inefficient. Buses are great for city travel, but if you're going somewhere rural, driving is sometimes your only alternative. That's why so many Americans own vehicles and like driving anywhere, whether it's five hours to see a rock concert or five minutes to get a six-pack of beer. A tip is usually included in the restaurant bill in most countries. Tips are not included in the United States because they appreciate the competition. You are not compelled to tip, but standard etiquette indicates that you should tip 10% for mediocre service, 15% for a great treatment, and 20% for more exceptional service. Many restaurants will automatically add an 18% tip to the bill for large parties. You should only leave without tipping if the service was truly terrible. This system is designed to encourage waitstaff to provide excellent service to their customers. Education and health care are expensive. Americans don't want the government to nationalize education or health care because they don't trust it to handle their affairs or provide them with services. As a result, education and health care in the United States are still mostly private. As a result, while Americans pay less in taxes, they pay more for education and health care. While moose hunting in Alaska, it is forbidden to whisper in someone's ear. In Alaska, moose, caribou, and bears killed by autos are considered state property. When roadkill is detected, volunteers butcher the bodies and deliver the meat to charitable groups. Last but not least, a 13-year-old kid called Benny Benson designed the state flag, 
In 1927, Alaska chose Benson's image of the Big Dipper and the North Star after soliciting submissions from schoolchildren around the territory. Even when Alaska became a state in 1959, the design was preserved. Weird Facts About Iceland Iceland, the country of fire and ice, has grown in popularity as a tourist destination in recent years. It's simple to understand why tourists flock to the country's majestic glaciers, thunderous waterfalls, and huge natural nighttime shows. There are numerous features that distinguish Iceland, but these odd and fascinating facts about the country may surprise you. Are you ready to take a ride to the mesmerizing place? Well, let's get started. In the cold weather of Iceland, newborns are left outside to nap. It's not unusual to see a pram outside a coffee shop, with its parents grabbing a cup as the infant sleeps. Alternatively, many Icelandic newborns nap outside at least once a day, regardless of the season. This habit, which is also common in Denmark, aims to acclimate children's bodies to the cold temperature that they will face throughout their lives. Furthermore, Iceland is so safe that, rather than being a threat, passersby on the street offer a safety net for the little one left out to rest. No McDonald's Iceland doesn't have a McDonald's. The world-famous American fast food restaurant launched in 1993 and shut in 2009. There appears to be no desire to bring the American behemoth back to Elf Island since then. Reykjavik, despite its tiny size, is the world's northern capital city and home to more than half of Iceland's inhabitants. This vibrant and unique city is densely packed with restaurants, cafes, bars, and museums, and is highly walkable, making it an ideal place for sightseeing on foot. Female Prime Minister Iceland's first female and openly homosexual prime ministers were democratically elected. In Reykjavik, there is a penis museum. It has a collection of nearly 200 distinct mammalian penises, including one from a man. Even when the weather is below zero, Icelanders like eating ice cream. In the extreme weather, Icelandic people enjoy swimming pools and outdoor hot tubs. They are warm and soothing since they are filled with geothermal water. Alternatively, splashing around. You can forget about buying bottled water while visiting Iceland. Its streams, rivers, and lakes provide some of the cleanest and most pleasant water on the planet. Dip your bottle in, take a sip or two, and you'll feel completely revitalized. If you're often bitten by insects when traveling, you'll be relieved to learn that Iceland is mosquito-free, given that it has a temperature comparable to Antarctica and Greenland, where the hideous insect may be found. This is extremely remarkable. In Iceland, some of the products are truly revolting. They are also well known for their excellent seafood and lamb. However, their traditional cuisine may cause a gag response. Hakari, or fermented shark, is the most well known. This stuff is buried underground for 6 to 12 weeks before being exposed to the light to dry. It has ammonia, urine flavor, and is served with unsweetened schnapps shots. Yum! Oh, they also like a smoked sheep's head now and then. No surnames. In the traditional sense, Icelanders do not have surnames. The great majority of Icelandic surnames merely states that you are the son or daughter of your father or mother. No matter how formal the encounter, first names are virtually always used when addressing someone. In Reykjavik, there is an elf school where you can learn all about elves and the Icelanders who are said to have interacted with them. According to a 2007 research conducted by the University of Iceland, almost 62% of Icelanders think elves exist. Throughout the country, small elf dwellings have been constructed into the countryside. 
It is a common expectation for children in Western countries to receive a present from Santa Claus on Christmas Day. The 13 Yule Lads pay a visit to Icelandic children. For 13 days before Christmas, Icelandic youngsters place their shoes in the bedroom window. Every night, depending on how each youngster has been behaving, one of the Yule Lads will arrive and leave a tiny present for them. Each Yule Lad has its own personality and eccentricities, which are represented in their presents and pranks, ranging from Pot Licker, who loves to steal leftovers, to Haraskaler, who likes to smash doors late at night. Iceland was recently named one of the world's most environmentally friendly countries, and it's simple to understand why. Practically all of Iceland's power is generated from renewable energy sources. Reykjavik, Iceland's capital city, earned the Nordic Nature and Environment Prize in 2014 and is striving toward becoming carbon neutral by 2040. Books and Coca-Cola The Icelanders produce more books per capita than any other country on Earth. They consume the most Coca-Cola per capita of any country, too. Silfra is the only spot on the planet where you may dive or snork directly in a tectonic plate fracture. The earthquakes of 1789 opened up a huge gap between North America and Eurasian continents. The water in the Silfra fissure is extremely clean because it's filled with glacial water from the adjacent Langjokull Glacier. Icelanders are allowed to possess cats and dogs, but reptiles such as snakes, turtles, and lizards are prohibited. They were outlawed in the early 1990s after it was discovered that a turtle had contaminated its owner with salmonella. Before the arrival of Vikings, woods and forests covered 40% of Iceland's area. The Scandinavians, on the other hand, need wood to construct their homes and ships as well as clear area to feed their livestock. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are very regular, although residents are taught how to respond actively from an early age. From 74 years, beer was prohibited in Iceland. All alcohol was outlawed in Iceland from 1915 until the 1930s. From the 1930s until 1989, wine and liquor were available, but the beer remained illegal. Today, Iceland has a plethora of microbreweries. In addition, every year on March 1st, Iceland celebrates National Beer Day to commemorate the legalization of beer. Iceland has abundant wild and mountainous areas, and some residents utilize super jeeps to access some of them. Especially in the winter, a super jeep is heavily modified vehicle with huge tires and an elevated suspension that allows it to cross wide rivers and drive through heavy snow and ice. Although most of Iceland's roads are paved, these jeeps allow travelers to drive in the winter on off-road tracks in the central highlands. Iceland has no military and only has participated in one war. The Cod Wars were a power struggle between Iceland and Great Britain over exclusive fishing rights within 200 miles of the island's coast. Iceland prevailed when scissors were used to assault their opponents' fishing nets. Also, Icelandic police officers do not carry firearms. Only one individual has ever been shot by police. Weird Facts About Jamaica Jamaica is a Caribbean island known for its colorful culture and long list of traditions. Jamaica should be on your bucket list while you're booking a last-minute vacation or planning the future. Folks, welcome to Jamaica. Using Marijuana Don't come to Jamaica if you don't like marijuana. Cannabis production was decriminalized a few years ago, and it's fairly normal to see it now, whether it's being smoked, on goods, signs, stickers, street art, and so on. It commands attention. It isn't used by everyone, and it isn't available everywhere, but in a place like the United States, where it isn't totally legal, its presence is undeniable. Weed is not considered a drug by many Jamaicans. It's considered a cultural, spiritual, and psychological herb. Jamaicans honk a lot. 
If you come across someone who is doing something cool, honk. Is the driver in front of you 1.5 inches too close to the one in front of them? Honk. Getting honked at like that in most locations would be considered disrespectful. Many houses have helpers that you may pay to clean your dishes, wash your clothes, prepare meals, and so on. Only the very wealthy in America can afford to hire maids due to the higher minimum salary. However, it is extremely frequent in this country. The majority of upper middle class people use servants. In Jamaica, cranberries are quite popular. Cranberries are imported since they do not grow in Jamaica and are considered a premium commodity. Cranberry juice is the most common form of the fruit. It's an excellent thirst quencher, particularly during the island's frequent heat waves. It's even more popular than coconut water for keeping cool in hot weather. In the metropolis, it's not uncommon to hear music playing at full power in the middle of the day. You can't go somewhere without hearing music since it's ingrained in the culture. In other areas, you would never hear music so loud during the day, and playing it too loudly may result in a police visit. People flock from all over the world to visit Milk River, a radioactive spa. It has medicinal abilities, according to Jamaicans, and may aid with a wide range of health issues. People are only permitted to soak for 20 minutes at a time since the water is radioactive. Mineral-rich hot springs are naturally located in the region which are known as healing waters. Many people claim to have experienced therapeutic healing in some way from them. When visiting Jamaica, you may consider that many people appear to be nearly identical. And while this may appear unusual, there's no need to be concerned. That's because Jamaica has the world's highest rate of multiple births per year, meaning that moms frequently have two or more children at the same time. In St. Anne's Bay, a secluded Windsor mineral spring is unlike any other in Jamaica. There is a little location called Firewater Pond where the water can actually literally catch fire in the spring. A high percentage of sulfur in the water is thought to be the origin of this uncommon behavior. Residents of Windsor, St. Anne have related several anecdotes about the water's therapeutic and revitalizing properties. Visitors to the spring are frequently offered fire messages and inhabitants even cook on the pond. Blue Mountain Coffee is an incredibly expensive Jamaican coffee. Because it's so popular, many people strive to get their hands on it. It is nevertheless one of the world's rarest coffees, which accounts for its high price. It is desired for its flavor and power. Floyd's Pelican Bar is one of Jamaica's most distinctive drinking and dining establishments. A quarter mile, 400 meters out at sea, the little bar is formed of driftwood perched on a massive sandbar. The odd bar out in the ocean is only a 20-minute road trip from Negril's beachfront. Sunbathe, swim in the shallow ocean water, sip a refreshing red striped beer, and eat great Jamaican food once you arrive. While in Jamaica, you'll hear a lot about jerk sauce because, simply put, Jamaicans enjoy spicy cuisine. Jerk sauce may be used to season everything from pork and ribs to fish tacos as well as chicken. Jerk sauce recipes change, as does how they're used on meats, fish, and other foods, but the name and impact stay the same. If you visit a decent jerk restaurant in Jamaica, you'll almost certainly want to bring some jerk sauce home with you to try to emulate your meal. One of Jamaica's most spectacular natural attractions is the Blue Hole, also known as the Blue Lagoon in Portland. The lagoon has clean blue waters surrounded by lush flora and is said to be bottomless. Snorkeling and diving off the tree vines that dangle over the pool of water are popular activities at Blue Hole. Jamaica has relatively few snakes because in 1872, the mongoose, which was brought to clear the sugarcane fields of vermin, inadvertently killed virtually all of the island snakes. 
When Jamaica joined the bobsled event, it became the first tropical country to compete in the Winter Olympics. Its early bobsled attempts were the subject of the film Cool Runnings. Jamaica produces the world's fastest runners. Their quickness has been likened to the ancestry from a genetic pool of inherently swift Africans, as well as the fact that yams are part of the Jamaican diet. Crocodiles are quite rare in Jamaica. These famed reptiles are frequently found on the island's southern shore, particularly near Black River. You have seemed to witness a crocodile when traveling the 33-mile, 53-kilometer river. They aren't easy to notice at first, since they tend to lie immobile for lengthy amounts of time, simply revealing their eyes and nostrils. Visitors are generally attracted by the quiet reptiles and frequently photograph them. Crocodiles are not normally dangerous to people. Jamaica has more churches per square mile than any other country on the planet. According to the National Library of Jamaica, there are approximately 2.75 churches per square mile. Jamaicans place a high value on family, which includes a wide network of uncles, aunts, cousins, and grandparents. In Jamaica, there is a unique birthing custom. The placenta and umbilical cord are buried in the mud when a child is delivered and a tree planted in the same site. The tree must be cared for by the youngster. This is how Jamaicans ensure that children learn to be responsible from an early age, and it's a fantastic concept. Flag without primary colors. The Jamaican flag is one of only two in the world without the three primary colors, red, white, and blue. The magnificent Blue Mountains, which stretch 45 miles between Kingston, the capital, and Port Antonio to the north, are dubbed for the mist that blankets this country's greatest mountain range. This mild mist seems blue from a distance. Weird facts about UAE. The United Arab Emirates is a remarkable country in the Middle East, located on the Persian Gulf near the Arabian Peninsula's southeast extremity. Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Ras Al Khaima, Ajman, Umm Al Quwan, and Fujairah are the seven emirates that make up the federation. Each of the seven emirates has its own set of attractions. Let's dive into today's video to see how weird things about this country can get. Sunday is a working day in the UAE. Most countries work Monday through Friday. In the UAE, however, the work begins on Sunday. It's a source of wonder for many who feel Sunday is the ultimate day of rest and relaxation. Weekends in the UAE are Friday and Saturday, rather than Saturday and Sunday. Impressive police cars. Bugatti, Ferrari, Bentley, Lamborghini, Camaro, Mercedes, and other supercars are among Dubai Police's collection of vehicles. Gold ATMs There are ATMs in Dubai that are not only built of gold, but also release gold coins, bars, and medallions. It works like any other ATM machine in that you swipe your card and gold rather than money appears. The world-famous Burj Khalifa houses one such unit. Greeting and welcoming strangers When you visit a mosque in the UAE, it's not unusual for strangers to welcome you with Assalamu Alaikum. They exchange candies and other snacks with total strangers at the mosque on Fridays and Eid. No handshaking Men seldom shake hands with women who are not related to them. There are many royal families. The UAE, unlike other European nations or Japan, has more than one royal dynasty. Also, every emirate of the United Arab Emirates is ruled by a different royal family with Abu Dhabi's Al Nanyan and Dubai's Al Maktoum royal families being the most renowned and influential. During the holy month of Ramadan, residents of Dubai's tallest building must wait two minutes long before breaking their fast silence, since they will be able to view the sun for longer than those on the ground. Highest Literacy Rate 
When it comes to placing kids and books together, the UAE boasts a literacy rate of over 93% and is one of the most established nations. It is a nation brimming with treasures of literacy and a literacy culture. Camels are important. Camel riding has long been a part of Emirati traditions and culture. Camel racing is by far the most popular sport in the United Arab Emirates. The country also has 15 camel racing courses. The best part is that the camels have their own pageant. Every December in Abu Dhabi, the Al Dafra Camel Festival celebrates the fascinating Boudoun tradition. That's like expecting a camel to go through a needle's eye. Kandora Dress Kandora dress is the appropriate outfit, called thwab, in the Arab world and Arab countries. It's entertaining to wear it for any occasion. Gatherings include discussions, workshops, weddings, funeral services, visiting partners, and going to the grocery store. They don't waste mental energy selecting what to wear first in the morning, as Steve Jobs did. They've gotten so used to wearing it that they've started wearing it as a nightgown. Despite camels' cultural and aesthetic dominance in the UAE, the Arabian oryx is the country's national animal. The 50 dirham currency note has an image of an oryx. By 1972, there were hardly any wild Arabian oryx remaining, but because of conservation and breeding attempts, a handful of captive oryx was reintroduced into the wild by 1980, and the species was downgraded from endangered to vulnerable in 2011. One of the world's biggest man-made islands, the Palm Jumeirah, is located in Dubai. This island is formed in the shape of a palm tree and the island is home to a large number of hotels, condos, and even a monorail. Some Unusual World Records There are some well-known Guinness World Records held by the UAE such as the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest tower, and the world's biggest picture frame for Dubai frame, but there are some far less well-known ones. The UAE, for example, boasts the world records for the most dominoes falling in a circular field, 89,995, the heaviest vehicle pulled by the hare, and the quickest 10 meters run by a horse on its hind legs. A Garden in the Desert The Miracle Garden in Dubai is the world's largest floral garden, indeed a miracle. The Miracle Garden, which covers an area of roughly 72,000 square meters, is decorated with floral sculptures, floral beds, and floral themes. There are almost 50 million flowers and 250 million plants in this garden. It would be a waste not to pay a visit to this floral sanctuary while in Dubai. A Country Without Rivers the Vatican and Monaco are two of the only 19 nations and 22 territories in the world without a continuous natural river that flows through them. With no permanent natural lakes or rivers, the UAE is the world's biggest subregion. However, there are several channels or valleys that fill with rainfall during the rainy season. There are also some minor marshes. The desert covers more than two-thirds of the UAE's total land, which is primarily uninhabited. Sand dunes in the region's southeast reach astonishing heights of 100 meters, 300 feet. Dubai's police force welcomed a robotic officer in 2017. The RoboCop assists in the detection of offenders and the gathering of evidence. By 2030, the Dubai police expects unarmed robots to account for 25% of its patrolling personnel. The United Arab Emirates became the first Gulf country to establish diplomatic ties with Israel in 2020. In the process, it joined Egypt and Jordan as the third Middle Eastern country to recognize Israel. The UAE is home to the world's highest structure. The Burj Khalifa, Khalifa Tower, stands 828 meters, 2,716 feet tall in Dubai. Shama al-Mazri was chosen as the world's youngest government minister in 2016 at the age of 22. Not only that, but women make up a large portion of UAE cabinet officials. 
When you tell people in Dubai that the number plate costs them more than a typical Lamborghini Aventador, they won't even blink. A few affluent people pay millions of dollars for a lower-digit automobile plate. Arif Ahmad Al Zaroni, a billionaire businessman, paid a staggering AED 18 million to own a Shah Rah number one plate. Emiratis are famed for their hospitality. They consider it an honor to receive guests and socialize with friends and family. Visitors are greeted with coffee and delicious dates. UAE is also one of the safest countries on the globe. The Dubai Aquarium Tank is the world's biggest suspended aquarium with a capacity of 10 million liters. It is located on the Dubai Mall's ground floor. It has the world's largest collection of sand tiger sharks. The aquarium is home to around 33,000 aquatic creatures from over 200 different species. Weird Facts About Nigeria Nigeria is a well-known country in the world. Despite how huge and significant the country is, there are many intriguing facts about it that you may not be aware of. Let's get started. Nigeria has a population of about 200 million people, making it one of the world's most populous countries. By 2019, it has become the world's seventh most populous country. The majority of Nigerians are either Muslims or Christians, accounting for 50% and 40% of the overall population, respectively. Nigeria has been inhabited since 9000 BC. However, not everyone is aware of this fact. People typically mistakenly believe that Nigeria has only been independent for around 57 years, despite the fact that the country was founded in 1960. The majority of Nigerians drink water from a plastic sachet. This is a typical site of Nigerian streets. Sachets of super cheap water are sold. Although it is referred to as pure water, it is usually not purer than the water found in bottles. Around half of Nigerians drinking water comes from this source. Millions of people use the internet on a daily basis all over the world. However, the percentage of people using the internet varies per country. Nigeria is one of the top 10 countries with the most internet users, outnumbering industrial nations such as the United Kingdom, South Korea, France, and Canada. Relationships in Nigeria are not regarded official until the two of you are officially introduced. Regardless, matter whether you've been dating for years or not, the typical introduction ceremony is held in the home of the bride-to-be's family. Three marriages are held in Nigeria. The traditional ceremony is the first type. This could be a rite that includes bride price, whipping, mass prostrations, wine carrying, and other things depending on where you're from in the country. Then there are weddings in churches and mosques. The provisions of tradition, religion, and civil law all acknowledge a couple's union in Nigeria. After a woman gives birth to her child, it is customary for the new baby's grandmother to visit and assist the mother in caring for her newborn baby or kids. Family members were not only brought in to undertake specific responsibilities like cooking special meals, but also to take care of domestic chores, like cleaning and bathing the new baby in pepper soups while they were at it, so the new mother doesn't have to lift a finger. Nigeria is home to 7% of the total number of languages spoken on the planet. Tarabas State alone is home to more languages than 30 African nations. In Nigeria, children are expected to greet their elders by running towards them. The Yortuba tribe has the world's highest rate of twin births. Igbo Ora, a small town in Oyo State, has earned the moniker 
twin capital of the world due to its unusual high rate of twin births, which has been estimated at 158 per 1,000 births. Money is frequently showered down on groups of dancers on the dance floor during African-American celebrations such as weddings, graduation parties, birthdays, or child dedications. With the left hand, you can't offer or receive anything. It's regarded as a major display of disdain. Please don't offer money to service people with the wrong hand when in Nigeria. Eating with one's left hand is likewise frowned upon. A newborn should never be supposed to fall from its mother's back. It is predicted that the youngster will suffer tragedy in the future. Little ones are carried on the backs of Yoruba women and women in many parts of Africa. It's referred to as backing. They had better secure the Iro and Oja wrappers tightly. It is imperative that the infant does not fall. In Nigeria, it's believed that if someone drowns in the river, they must be buried there. If the corpse is brought home, the family will suffer disaster. On the African continent, life expectancy is often lower, and Nigeria is no exception. Poverty is the primary cause of poor life expectancy. Many Nigerians are impoverished, and others die early from diseases that may have not been treated. The death rate among children is likewise fairly high. Toxic drinking water and diseases such as cholera and malaria are some of the other reasons. This is one of Nigeria's sad facts. And while circumstances are improving for some Nigerians, the country's rapid population expansion is anticipated to exasperate problems for the poorest. In Nigeria, it is believed that whistling late at night attracts evil spirits. The Nigerian film industry is known as Nollywood, and it's even larger in Hollywood. It is estimated to be the second world's largest film industry. Trailing only Bollywood in India, every week about 200 movies are made, implying that Nollywood generates about 10,000 films every year. Getting married without both parents' agreement is not only frowned upon, but also nearly impossible. Such a union is declared invalid, not by the government though. Every third Friday of the month, Afropolitan Vibes is an undiluted African music performance held in Freedom Park in Lagos. In Nigeria, electricity isn't always stable, so when the lights go out, it's a big deal. They simply say, oh, they've taken the lights, and go about their daily lives, unlike in some parts of the world where power outages are considered an emergency. A few typical Nigerian recipes that every prospective cook should make include pepper soup, beef stew, and jaw of rice. The Dafona Canoe, Africa's oldest known boat, was discovered by a Fulani herdsman digging a well in Dafona Village, Yob State, in May 1987. Various radiocarbon tests undertaken in laboratories of reputable universities in Europe and America suggest that the boat is over 8,000 years old, making it Africa's oldest and the world's third oldest. The finding of the canoe has dramatically altered popular perceptions about Africa's history and competence in marine technology. The Niger Delta, the world's second largest delta, is home to 60% of Nigeria's mangrove forests and contains the world's largest concentration of monotypic fish families. You should also be aware that Nigeria has the largest mangrove forests in Africa and the third largest on the planet. Weird Facts About Iran Although Iran may not be your first choice for a trip, there is still so much to learn about the country. Iran has witnessed several historical tragedies. Iran boasts a diverse ethnic population and some of the world's most stunning man-made structures. 
let's take a tour of this stunning country and watch some weird facts about their culture. Iranians use their own calendar, a solar calendar, meaning that its timekeeping depends on Earth's movement around the sun. Nowruz, the first day of the year, is also the first day of spring. The first six months have 31 days, the next five months have 30 days, and the last month has 29 days in most years, but 30 days in leap years. Thursday and Friday are Iranian weekends. Thursday is similar to Saturday, with banks and stores open but certain offices closed, while Friday is similar to Sunday. Men and women in Iran have frequently seen sporting bandages across their nasal bridges. This is due to the fact that rhinoplasty is quite popular, particularly among young people. Peer pressure and rebellion are among the reasons. The face is one of the few portions of their bodies that Iranian women are permitted to flaunt in public, so changing their profile becomes a form of self-expression. In Iran, homosexuality is legally forbidden, and gender binarism is rigidly enforced. In Iran, however, transgender persons can get gender reassignment surgery. Despite a high amount of societal stigma attached to the decision, sex reassignment is quite frequent in Iran. Restricted social media. YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter are all restricted in this area. So either install a VPN before visiting Iran or take a vacation from social activities. However, Instagram and Gmail are not prohibited in Iran, which is an intriguing fact. As a result, you are free to post as many selfies as you like. There is no alcohol in this country, not even a smidgen. The beer may appear on restaurant menus, although it is non-alcoholic. However, it tastes very much like the genuine thing, and there are a variety of flavors to choose from. And frankly, who needs alcohol when there are so many Sharbats to try? Toki Rayan, Kaki Shur, Bahar Narenj, and Sekhan Jabin are some well-known Persian Sharbats. In Iran, houses have no furnishings. Everything is done on the floor, eating, sleeping, writing, and working. Young Population Iran has a population of over 60% of people under the age of 30. Since the Islamic Revolution in 1979, all Iranian women have been required to wear a hijab. Several protests against this have occurred in recent years, with some bigger groups of women refusing to wear the hijab. In Iran, the major credit cards, including Visa and MasterCard, which are widely accepted globally, no longer function as a result of U.S. sanctions. Instead, the Ma card, a local credit card, is available. It is possible for men to be arrested for wearing shorts or being shirtless. Whenever you see a rug in Iran, there will always be a design problem in an Iranian rug. It is done on purpose, in order to draw attention to the Iranian belief that only God is flawless. For more than 2,500 years, these rugs have been a part of Iranian culture. Nobody knows who did it, but a Star of David was tiled on the roof of the Tehran International Airport and remained there for more than 30 years. While the tiling has been removed at some time, Google Earth revealed the secret, and it still left an outline on the roof. Shortly after, the Iranian government contracted for a thorough removal. Yogurt is used as a meal, a medication, and even a cosmetic. They believe it can help you sleep better, heal ulcers, and just live longer in general. Iranians offer gifts on various special occasions, such as upon returning from a trip or when someone achieves a great personal or professional success. Check to see if the host is wearing shoes.
if you're invited into a Iranian's home. Otherwise, leave yours at the door. Greet them, but keep your hands by your sides. Don't put your arm around an Iranian or the opposing gender if you're taking photographs with them. Taking picture without permission. Most Iranians will be offended if you take a picture of them without their permission, primarily because they don't want to wind up on social media. As a courtesy to other visitors, you may be asked not to take photographs at some places. However, if you truly desire a photograph, you must first seek permission. Do not give anyone the thumbs up gesture while in Iran. Giving a thumbs up is essentially the same as raising your middle finger. Tea is quite popular among Iranians. Black tea is brewed without milk in Iran. In Iran, tea is served at every gathering. And the majority of Iranians drink tea after every meal. When it comes to contraception, Iran is incredibly progressive. Condoms, birth control pills, and permanent sterilization are all supplied free of charge to Iranian people who request them. In fact, Iran is home to the Middle East's only legal condom manufacturing facility. Ties are considered a symbol of Western civilization. Hence, ties are forbidden in Iranian interviews. This was a change from 1979. This isn't to say that men don't dress shabbily, rather, they are well-dressed in their own cultural ways. Iran has made polygamy legal, allowing men to marry up to four women. Since the revolution, the marriage age for girls has increased from 9 to 13. Following their marriage, they were no longer able to attend high school. Boys, on the other hand, could only marry at the age of 15, which is also a legal voting age in Iran. Sighe weddings are legal in Iran, however, they are controversial. They're basically one-time weddings that can last anywhere from a few minutes to 99 years. Sighe weddings allow couples to have a sexual relationship without breaking Iran's harsh rules prohibiting extramarital sex and they also allow couples to take the plunge before fully committing. Iran has had a nationalized monopoly on television programming since the days of Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. The Islamic Republic of Iran Broadcasting superseded the National Iranian Radio and Television NIRT organization after the 1979 revolution. Satellite dishes were made illegal in the Islamic Republic in 1994. Despite official efforts to block satellite television, notably networks like BBC Persian, satellite television remains popular in Iran. Iranians have garlic-flavored shampoo. Other alternatives include carrots, olives, and an egg. Because who doesn't want to wake up smelling like garlic? Saffron production in Iran accounts for almost 70% of total saffron production worldwide. It's also known as the red gold, and it's a common Persian ingredient. Saffron has long been regarded as a luxury spice, and it is typically extremely expensive in most countries. Well, that's the end of today's video. Which of these did you like the most, or did you find weird? Do let us know in the comment section below and please subscribe to our channel Weird World Facts and ring that notification bell for the latest video updates.